Well, I think one of the interesting aspects of Windows Phone is the way that you can pin applications to your home screen. And those applications can be alive with information about your application, even when it's not running. So there are various different ways to do this. If the user chooses to pin an application to the start screen, you get that sort of standard tile effect. And then we've got various different APIs in the platform to allow you to update that tile. You can update it from the background. You can update it on a schedule. One of the most interesting ways you can update it is through push notifications. And push notifications allow you to take advantage of a, uh, an, a, an infrastructure that Microsoft has built to deliver messages directly to that, to that tile. It's a fairly simple architecture. Essentially, your application gets hold of a unique URI for that tile, and all you have to do is send a post message, an HTTP post message to that URI, and our infrastructure will take care of delivering the update to the, uh, to the tile. So this little application I have here, it's a demo application I built for uh, the event we're at today. And if I just go in and register this for the receiving live tile update, by clicking on my push notifications there, that's it now, uh, now registered. Um, if I come out of the app, so the application is no longer running, so instead of a cloud service, what I have here to simulate that is a little application running on my phone that allows me to make those HTTP posts. So if I just select one of these options here, click on the button, and that tile uh, update happens almost instantaneously. So you can imagine people registered for the uh, weather in London, weather changes, or we get a new weather update. My cloud service runs through its business rules, runs a query, pulls out all the people registered for London, sends HTTP post messages, and those things just appear. So that's just a very simple example of how you can update tiles. As I say, there's a number of different APIs for it. And in fact, um, if you want to learn more about all the sorts of things applications on Windows Phone can do when the application itself isn't running, I'm going to be doing an online conference in the very near future on exactly that subject.